So, at and is on strike. Miami, Louisiana. Why would a multi-billion dollar corporation have people on strike? Well, the reason why it's a multi-billion dollar company is because they underpay their technicians, their workers. What, 1,700 people were on strike? 17, uh, union leaders from Miami, 1,400 service technicians are on strike. Um, what is it? Miami, Dade, uh, Burward, and Monroe counties. Some of them haven't been paid in two, up to two weeks. Uh, technicians has been working there for 29 years, hasn't been paid in two weeks. Um, it's not what they wanted to do. Here's one of 17,000. So 17,000 employees have walked out over in the Miami uh, area. And these, these technicians, let me tell you something. Uh, the technicians that I know where I work at right now, um, I see them a lot. And I'm like, man, it's, and you guys getting all right out there? I'm like, I mean, I won't say too much, but sometimes no. Uh, they're asked to do more. And it's always take care of the customer, take care of the customer, take care of the customer. And then, well, safety falls into play. Like, we'll take care of the customer. So they're required to do more than what they're paid for and something about the way the contract is written allows them allows the company to make these technicians do what they're not supposed to do and then the other technicians uh the field workers get involved and it's like stop touching the cable oh i was told to take care of the customer well, that's what those guys are for so it just goes on to play of they need better wages. They, they do. at and technicians, employees, they need better wages. Uh, the company doesn't mean to make $15 billion a year and not give anything to the, to the technicians, to, to the ones, to the front lines. You know, and honestly, you can see it. The customers hate at and All these videos that I make about, hey, how to fix this and how to get this repaired and everything. A lot of people are like, I hate at and with a passion. I hate that company. I'll never go to it. Despise them. When I'm doing my jobs and you know someone go and I go to someone's house and they have spectrum, I'm like, hey, you know, fiber's out here with AT&T. Why don't you go to AT&T fiber? I hate AT&T fiber. It's the worst thing ever. They don't know how to take care of business. I freaking hate it. And I'm like, oh, I mean, what's going on? Why do you hate it so badly? It's like, I just despise it. They never do anything right. The technicians are, are, aren't educated in anything. At least the cable company that I have, it works fine. I got 100 down and 20 up. That's fine. That does me. I said, well, AT&T give you a thousand by a thousand. No, no, ain't going to happen. I'm like, look, I got a, I got at and and I'm perfectly happy with it. Of course, I got friends that work for at and so any issues I have, like, hey, buddy, uh, can you tell me what the hell's going on here? Here's my account number. And they're like, oh, okay, cool. It looks like there's a trouble, trouble down the line or whatever. And I'll put in a ticket, and they'll come out and investigate. And usually a squirrel chew where I'm at. But, uh, you know, that's, that's the thing. People aren't, these employees aren't being paid for and my heart goes out to the guys out there um, striking. And, uh, you know, it's good. Uh, I, I support you guys out there very, very much. Uh, don't let this multi-billion dollar corporation not pay us our proper wages. They can afford it. I know they can afford it. He doesn't need a new yacht every freaking year. I mean, we're out here trying to make a living. Like, I have different kind of jobs that I do on a daily basis. And um, um, could I get paid more? Of course, but some people can't afford it. You know, everything goes up in price, but our pay doesn't go up. I'm sure their pay has not gone up if they're, if they're on strike right now. And this is on CBS News. You can look it up. You just type in HET strike, and you can read it for yourself. 17,000 employees. HET, uh, we are committed to reaching out a fair deal with our employees of CWA District 3, which is the southeast. Wages that outpace project inflation may benefit uh, may other benefits and reflect their company's job market. We'll continue to ensure our customers receive the excellent service. Man, if you got 17,000 people striking right now, how are you going to take care of all those people in Miami? Like, if all my friends that I know at this company at AT&T go on strike and my internet goes down and I can't make you freaking content, I'm going to be a little pissed off. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll go to Spectrum. So... AT&T, y'all need to get on the ball, man. Y'all need to take care of these people out there. This used to be a really good company to... I mean, everybody knew, oh, you were for AT&T. It's great, it's great, it's great. I mean, my friends were for AT&T, and they... 
they barely make over 60000 a year. And they're what they call their line techs. Those guys are 150000 a year. The, what they call a premise technician, the guys that go to your home and install the service, they're not taken care of at all. From what I hear, they're looked at as garbage. And you can't do that. These guys are running your business, AT&T. These guys are seriously running the business properly for you, taking care of the angry customers, making them happy. Step up, pay them properly. Irritates me. All these good guys out there, guys and gals, and guys and they're unisex. Wow, look at that. One of them says, you know, by them not working, it could be affecting 911, hospitals, schools, fire department, police stations. I mean, it is true. I mean, most of the phone lines that go to the police departments are from AT&T because it is the 911 line. Anywho, I just my, my two cents on this. I just wanted to bring it up to you guys out there on, uh, since I do so many videos on AT&T, I just want to let you guys know that they're on strike out there in Miami for any of my Miami fans out there um, or anyone who watches my video from Miami. Your at t technicians are on strike out there. Anyways, I hope at t comes to a conclusion. Hope you guys take care of business. at t reaching out to y'all. Take care of these technicians. They need it. They got families.